This was the scene along Elliott Beach six months ago, waste spilling out into the environment. Today, repair works were being made to the rock barrier designed to contain the site of the former bitumen factory. But for Wendy Murray from Angus Clean Environments, not enough is being done to stop the pollution. At the early part of last century, the company that had this um, uh, dairy works where oil was being refined and bitumen products were being made, they actually um, decided, for reasons which are not fully understood, that they would create a waste site um, right along the coast here. So all their hazardous waste remains here and um, it's been exposed to the environment. A Freedom of Information request made to the local authority by Angus Clean Environments in January produced two significant documents. The first, written by Angus Council in 2005, states that there is significant possibility of significant harm to human health from waste being exposed due to erosion. And the second, a report produced by T.A. Millard Consulting Engineers, identified multiple carcinogenic substances such as lead and arsenic, but concluded the site was low risk. It's left locals here in East Haven concerned. Some of these substances were at levels two, three, four times higher than the threshold for causing human harm. There are also concerns about how the site, which is estimated to be the size of seven football pitches, has been managed. If it had been registered as a special site by nature of the contaminants and the hazardous substances that are here, then there would have been some involvement from SEPA. Angus Council have owned the land since the 1970s. They didn't make anyone available for interview, but in a statement said, environmental assessments have been conducted. The findings were taken into account when determining a remediation strategy. It was decided that a combination of geotextile and rock armour should be used to contain the waste and protect it from erosion. Where it is safe to do so, leaving material in situ is considered an acceptable strategy. Angus Clean Environments hope to open up discussions with the local authority about how the site may be better secured in the future. But for now, locals in East Haven want to see a long-term solution to a historic problem. Sol Severitis TV News.